Hey, what's up, you guys? So, in this video, I'm just gonna be explaining the the difference between the Adobe Audition CC and the FL Studio. So, everyone who comes to this video, I expect him or her to know the two softwares because I'm not gonna be explaining how to install them or what are they used for. I'm just gonna be explaining the difference. So without wasting any more time, as in the end So you guys, FL Studio is a duo. By duo, I mean it's a DAW, a digital audio workstation, which means you can use it to record audio and MIDI. Um, by MIDI, I mean musical instrument digital interface. This one is used to connect a, a wide variety of electronic music instruments. It's like a mediator between the computer and audio devices for playing, editing, or, and recording music. So you can set it up with a range of suppliers and other digital instruments to create tracks with audio recording and fully editable MITI parts. Like all duos, it has very flexible, it is very flexible. Like Cubase, Logic, Personas, Studio One, you name it. And then more or less, Adobe Audition is not a duo. It is just a, just an audio editing, processing and mastering software of the very highest quality. However, it has no MyDai functionality whatsoever. So if you want to mix and master in, Adobe, in Audition, you have to create a track. It has to be audio from, from FL Studio. So for example, you could export the, the MyDai files from a duo to audio tracks and then import them into the Audition. But Audition itself can deal with MyDai data at all. So this picture here of the waves, um, this, this, these are the waves that are recorded on an Adobe Audition. So I don't know if you guys can see here at the top, on your left hand, there's, there's effects, there's effects that you can use to make the audio sound nice, you know, to make the audio of your choice more crispy or radio kind of audio so yeah so this one right here is a is a rec effect multi-band compressor so you get it there on the on the effects this one is necessary this one is very necessary. You cannot leave it out when you edit an audio. As you can see here, there are thresholds. And then it shows you everything. You yourself, you, when you edit your, your audio, you'll set it up. You'll set it up and then see there's radio effects there. There's gain, there's attack. Depends on what kind of audio you are looking for. But otherwise, this is this 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 is how you edit on an Adobe Audition. And then this right here, this this is another way the Adobe Audition shows up after installation. And then those waves there is the waves that you just recorded. They were just recorded and then you can also edit them from here or you can like click them twice and then they're gonna show up uh, on a closer range like I showed you in the, in the last two slides so yeah And with FL Studio, this is how it looks after installation. See the channels there? They are 
There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Unlike in Adobe Audition, there's a few. In FL Studio, there's a lot of them because one of the difference between FL Studio and and Adobe Audition is that you can actually record a choir at the same time, like vocal by vocal, you know. So with Adobe Audition, you can only record like one person or one audio at the same, one audio at the time, you know. And then modify it. And then with, with, with FL Studio, there's plugins. I'm not sure if you guys can see well, but here on your, on your left hand, there's plugins which you can add yours. You can add a lot of effects there. I won't lie, FL Studio is nice. FS Studio is nice and it's a job on its own like knowing FL Studio it's something else yeah this is a picture of how it also looks like this is a picture of Adobe Audition but same as Adobe Audition after after recording an audio it appear the waves appears the same on the software so this is a picture of a grand piano that with, with these keys every studio is a studio on its own like i think the word studio suits it best so this is this is this is a piano in an effort studio it's either it's from the FL Studio itself or it was inserted. So yeah. I hope you guys understood. I hope you guys understood and I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe.